ready to assemble everything now. What you're going to need is a bowl. You'll also need something to put your um, sugar scrub in after you're done. I decided to use a mason jar. I just like them because they're, to me, they're cute. They come in different sizes. You have a, a top that comes with it. And it also has some measurements on the side. So the mason jar that I have, it will hold one and one half cups of sugar. Okay? So I'm going to make a cinnamon sugar scrub. I actually love cinnamon. I love the way it smells. But I decided that I wanted to spruce it up with some color. And if you want to make the exact same sugar scrub that I'm making, then you're going to need to get you some red food coloring. And you can get this from any grocery store. It's pretty cheap. You're also going to need some extra virgin olive oil or just extra light olive oil. And I'm adding a little tw tweak in mine. So I'm adding some coconut oil. And I'm also going to add some vitamin E because my skin is dry. So I figured this is, this is the first time I've ever tried adding extra stuff to it. And I'll let you guys know how it feels later on. So the first thing I'm going to add is one half cup of olive oil. Once you've added the olive oil on top of the sugar, you want to make sure you spoon it in and mix it in until there's no more dry sugar. With one and one half cup of sugar and one half cup of olive oil, you should be able to saturate all of the sugar. Okay, now that you've saturated the sugar, you want to go ahead and add in your cinnamon and add the ground cinnamon. Make sure you get ground cinnamon. And what I've decided to do, I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to do a couple of shakes to it enough to give it the color that I want it to have. And then you're just going to go ahead and mix in that brown sugar. I'm sorry, the cinnamon. It's going to look like brown sugar. <laughs> okay, now that the cinnamon is worked in, you're going to take some coconut oil. And I decided to use a teaspoon of coconut oil. And you're going to work that in. Now you want to work in your vitamin E. I'm going to use a teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And I have the rich kind. Some vitamin E oils are really loose. It just depends on what you like. I'm just going to put a drop on my fingertip so you can see how thick it is. It's really, it's pretty thick. Okay. And I actually purchased Sundown, Sundown Naturals. So once you get that vitamin E in there, I'm going to work that in as well. The consistency of your sugar scrub should now be getting smoother. Now the last ingredient is going to be your food coloring. Now if you're clumsy like me, I don't want you to have on your good clothes when you're doing this because this food coloring, it will stain your hands. Yesterday I was working with it. It got all over my white shirt. So I recommend that you kind of, you know, either put on your play clothes or put on some gloves or if you like to get messy, you know, feel free to do so. But just be careful with it. And if you have countertops that stain easily, make sure you have something underneath um, your bowl so you won't stain your countertops because this will stain and it's hard to get out. So instead of pouring, what I decided that I want to do is I want to use capfuls. Okay, so you're going to need three capfuls of red food coloring. Okay. And once you get that food coloring in, you start working that in as well. 
and as you can see it's going to change the color of your sugar making it a nice bright and pretty red okay so here's the finished product it's all red and it smells good it smells like cinnamon and your final step needs to be to get your sugar scrub in a jar